Good morning, friends. So, it's been a while, right? How about we do some yoga? You know, a nice little start to the day. Hey, now maybe you're not going to use this at the beginning of your day. That's totally fine. You know, do what you need to do. You know, perhaps there's days where we're just going to work on that active recovery, do some movement, breathe resets that we can take on you know oh i don't know a bike work in an hour or two and then maybe another workout and then and then and then, and then. or maybe this is enough yeah so i'm gonna coach with a little bit of relaxation today obviously in case you haven't got that point um get yourself organized you know if you need to shut off some lights close some doors Find a space that's going to make sense for you. Um, I would encourage you to have something available. Um, and uh, in yoga, we call them props, like this block here. Um, I, would, I would recommend having something like this available. Obviously, if you don't have a yoga block, don't worry about it. But like some books or like a little like a stiffer pillow or something like that. Um, because towards the end, I would like to make use of this. But the block is completely optional. So if you don't have anything available, don't worry. All you really need is yourself, maybe a cup of coffee, and then <laughs> we're gonna have some fun. Okay, so let's get comfortable. And again, if you need to hit pause, get yourself organized, go for it, and then find a comfortable position. Now, of course, I'm gonna recommend laying down. Okay, that's Savasana, that corpse pose. But if you'd like to join me in a seated position for the first little bit, you're also free and welcome to do that. But we will start on our backs, so let's have some fun. Got my little yoga cushion here just to elevate my hips a little bit, giving me some space to let my legs fall open. Relaxes the, uh, the hip crease and the hip flexors there. But find a place that you're comfortable. And if that's really what it is. And if it makes sense, if you're able, close your eyes. That's it. And we're breathing. Okay. We are taking the time that we need to land in this space. Your space. As we slow down a bit, as we get comfortable, we might take a moment just to appreciate all of those little places underneath our body that we are connecting to the ground, to the mat, those places where we are supported. And if we're seated, obviously hips, knees, feet, from there we're able to find that nice foundation. And then for those of us who are already lying down, heels, hips, shoulders, elbows, the back of our head, we're just feeling that support that's going to be there through the entire practice. So this is a new day. It's a new practice. Maybe you've got an ongoing practice that you include in your everyday life. Maybe you've tried a few of my videos in the past. Maybe this is the first time. But every single time that you find your way into this space, into this mindset, onto your mat, it's a new conversation. Brand new. Is it the things that enable, encourage, and inspire you? Well, they might be different this time than last, or your body might be feeling different than the last. By extension, this practice, and even, even if you're doing this specific video 
another time. It's going to look, it's going to feel different. Because it's yours. We're here sharing the experience. But it's yours. So if we have drifted anywhere else, right, in this little bit of stillness, this little bit of quiet, let's just come back to our breathing and feel that breathing. You know, maybe today it's in and out through the nose. Maybe it's in and out through the mouth. Maybe it's some combination. Feel that rhythm and let your breath travel. The breath brings focus, concentration, thoughts, intention. But breath may be low into the belly. Maybe we start down deep and we're feeling the rise and the fall in our belly. You know, some of us breathe outwards towards the ribs, kind of allowing them to open and close. Some of us, it's that chest, that higher chest breath, feeling, again, opening, closing, expansion, contraction, just breath. And anywhere we end up, regardless, if you find yourself becoming lost or disconnected with what's happening, take a moment, close your eyes, and just reflect back on this right here. Support, breath. And you take as long as you need, and you can rejoin the practice as it makes sense for you. from the rhythm, the rate that we've settled into here, let's allow our inhales to deepen. Letting our breath get bigger. There's that little shift of intention, as we continue to breathe, let's allow our breath to start inviting or inspiring movement to return to the body. As I mentioned, we're all gonna start on our backs. And so if you're already there, fantastic. Let these small movements grow and start to explore the space around there. If, like me, you've still found yourself in a seated and upright position, let's navigate there. Let's all find our way down. And we breathe. And we just adventure out into the areas around us. Some of us enjoy a nice tall stretch here. Great big wide one. When you're ready, maybe bend your knees, take a little moment to shimmy and shake there, and then we're going to draw both of our knees into our chest. A nice little squeeze, or we can rock gently side to side, we can rock up and down. We can just continue to move, continue to breathe and feel how it is that we're connecting to the mat as we transfer weight around, are we noticing any areas that might be feeling a little stiff? Maybe we've put a lot of work in this week and we're just taking some time. Eventually though, let's allow the soles of our feet to find their way back down towards the ground. We're going to move deliberately through some kind of windshield wiper type movements there. So heel toe your feet a little bit wider on the mat. Keep great big bends in those knees. And let's allow our knees to start drifting a bit towards one side, bring them back up to the top, 
and then let them surrender towards the other side. We're transferring weight hip to hip. Okay, so as that happens, we are playing with some rotation in our spine. Obviously with the legs opening, closing, we're drifting from side to side. We're exploring some movement through rotation in the hips. And perhaps, again, we're pairing this with our breath where the inhales can pick us up to the top and the exhales drift us to the side. Maybe we're moving a little bit more freely. It's your practice, it's your body. Whatever rhythm, whatever rate you found, how about we do one more in each direction, whatever that looks like and feels like for you. And then we are going to bring ourselves back in, walking our feet nice and close to our hips, pointing our toes forward and let's Feel for a moment, the ball of our foot, the base of the baby toe, and the heel connect with the ground. And from here, we're also going to draw our belly inwards. Okay? So not a suck in, but a pull in. Okay? Little activation in the posterior chain here. So think of where our tailbone is, squeezing the glutes, trying to tilt that tailbone up underneath us. We're going to continue to push into our feet. We're going to continue to squeeze those glutes. And on your next inhale, let's start to lift our hips, surging up into the space above the mat, and then carefully returning back down, vertebrae by vertebrae, until the tailbone touches. And then the moment it does, let's inhale and lift. And exhale and lower. We're just gonna do this a few more times, lifting and lowering. one more. When we get to the bottom, right knee is going to draw in, give it a great big hug. Let's send that right leg up, all the way up. Now you're absolutely welcome to hang on with your hands. If you're playing with any other props like a strap or something, you're free welcome to make use of that. We won't be here too long. So let's just really enjoy what's happening. As we extend, likely experiencing those sensations along the backside of the leg, maybe up into the calf, and we can play pointing and flexing the foot, okay, or adding little rolls, okay, creating figure eight shapes, drawing little smiley faces, whatever feels good. If you'd like, you can even generate some movement from the hip and allow the entire leg to travel around. As we do this, we can massage out the back of that right hip. Drawing our right knee back into our chest, let's give it a great big squeeze. We're going to take it into a nice single leg twist. So hold on to your right knee and send the left leg all the way forward and down, all the way out. The left hand is going to guide us, going to help us. The right arm can relax, but there's no rush. So maybe take a few breaths, so you get a little rock side to side and allowing more weight to transfer onto that left hip. Eventually, eventually, an exhale is going to take that right knee all the way across. We're going to roll completely onto the left hip so the hips turn to face the left, but can we relax the shoulders towards, towards the ground? And again, that right arm might just open up Relax. This is a great time to make use of your prop if you're playing with a block or a pillow. Maybe put it underneath that right knee so we're not kind of hovering and flying. We don't have to hold this shape, but rather we can choose to just relax here. We're unwinding, we're ringing out. This is a great space to enjoy kind of breathing again where we can direct our breath low into the back, into the belly, flooding the hips, that low back area. 
or as we breathe up and down the length of the spine, we're enjoying the rotation in our thoracic spine, that mid-back. That's where most of the twist is happening. Some of us are going to breathe across our collar, again high in our chest where we relax those shoulders. And the head might be turning away. And if you don't need to keep them open, maybe close your eyes and we breathe. It's time for you. Let's draw ourselves back to center, rolling onto both of our hips, bringing our right knee in, and then left leg also. Reset. Bring it wide. Our right foot, it goes down. That left leg, it goes up. Ooh, creaking and cracking on our way there. Let's appreciate this shape. Brand new side, brand new conversation. This side might feel and look different. Pointing, flexing little circles, creating figure eights. Generating movement from the hip, massaging it out. Support is great. Kind of active range and control is great. You're great. start to bend that left leg. Drop back into the chest, great big squeeze. Let's send our right leg all the way forward and down. A few breaths. A few breaths. We're traveling to the twist in the opposite direction. Okay, so allowing that left leg to come all the way across. Okay, again, use props, support yourself. Little pillows, blocks, hoping to land in a space that we don't need to hold. A space where we can ring out, we can unwind, we can decompress. Might be a nice physical stretch. Perfect. This might also be an opportunity to use this as a physical representation some of the work that we might need to do in the distance between our ears. Let's try to enjoy three more breaths here. Carefully, very slowly, returning back to center. Bring our left knee in and the right. Another very, very well observed hug. Now, perhaps this is enough. You've already gone far enough for your day. That's perfect. Maybe you spend the next 40 minutes just relaxing in that savasana, that corpse pose. Maybe we're going to move on, start to generate a little heat, find some movement. But we're going to start in the same position here. Okay? Soles of the feet are down, okay? hips are down, shoulders are down, the back of our head. We're just enjoying the support that's there. Okay? And let's allow that right leg to be lifted up, floating over top of our hip. Belly's drawing in, tailbone scooping under, we're in control. Allow that right foot to find its way 
down. Left leg, so same thing, a little shift of weight into that right foot so we can float the left. Let's allow the left foot to come down. How about we inhale, lift the right, and exhale, drop the foot. Left. more on each side. Now, if this is a really good level for you, I want you to stay right here. Okay? You can keep moving. And for those of us that would like, we're going to reverse kind of this movement, starting with our knees over top of our hips. Belly in, tailbone still scooping under, shoulders and head are planted. The right foot taps forward, either the toe or the heel, and then we lift the leg back up over top of the hips. The left foot drops forward, we tap either the toe or the heel, and we lift. And of course, if you would like, we can add the opposite arm. So the arms start reaching up towards the sky from the shoulders and then extend overhead. We can tap, and we can keep it here with bent Knees, okay, drawing that belly in, and of course, working towards that dead bug flow, okay, where we extend out, finding length, bracing our core, creating that heat, that power, but maintaining control. And if you find it's too much, let's just come back to here for a few more rounds, okay, dropping just the toe. Let's do one more on each side. Knees in. Another great big hug. Let's rock a bit side to side, massaging it out. So we're going to take it up to all fours. Now there's no rush, so whatever you need, maybe rocking and rolling up and down the length of the spine a few times, or just swinging yourself out to the side, propping yourself up. And let's move to hands and knees. Now, ideally, we're going to travel closer to the front edge of our mat on the assumption that we're using a mat, so we've got lots of space behind us. But you take whatever path makes sense for you. A nice traditional flow is that cow and cat flow, where we round our spine, tuck the chin and tail under, and then we drop our belly, pull the heart forward, and the exhale rounds us into that cat shaped flexion. Inhale, we draw through, cow extension. And really, we can just breathe right here, traveling the distance in between these two shapes and enjoying the flow. If this is feeling good for you right now, stay. Continue breathing right here. Some of us, I know, like to add some side bends as we flow. But if that's you and you want to try, maybe we find that centered position, we're going to shift our hips in one direction and have a look over the opposite shoulder. Okay? And then bring ourselves back to center. So a gentle hip shift, and we look over the opposite shoulder, opening through that side body. Inhale to center and exhale into that side flexion. Maybe this is good. And we're going to continue moving, and you can stay here, you can go back to that cat and cat, and always an and. If there's something else that you've got in mind, do it. Anything, everything. Create your own movement patterns. Transfer weight forward, backward, side, side. Invent moves. Combine moves. Modify. Just move. And when you've got the opportunity to reset, I always, always recommend doing it the way that makes sense for you in that moment. Okay, traditional flows, fantastic. Custom flows, fantastic. Just make it yours. And let's bring ourselves back to that nice starting position though. Crown of our head forward, tailbone backwards. We're going to press evenly into all four corners of our palms, stacking those shoulders over top of our wrists. A little shift of weight, just a bit, into our left knee. So we can step our right toes to the back edge of the mat. Now it is a step, okay? So can we ensure that our hips and shoulders didn't move? Basically, we should be able to bring the knee in, 
we should be able to step back just alike. Okay? From here, we're gonna add on. Let's lift that right heel up to hip height. So the leg is extending straight back. Imagine having to stand on a wall behind you. Push. Then we're gonna bend our right knee, just the knee bend. Pressing evenly into both of our palms, okay? Staying strong in the shoulders and the upper body. Let's start to turn our hips, allowing that right heel to fall across our back towards the left side of our space. So hip opening, shoulders are still level. We naturally have a tendency to want to collapse down into that opposite arm, into that left arm here. It's up to us to stay strong and stacked, level shoulders. On your next inhale, level the hips, send the leg to the back, and as you exhale, bring the right knee down. There we go, let's move, shinny shake, reset. Same thing, checking in with the other side. Okay, so strong. Strong foundation through those arms, left toes, step to the back edge of your mat. That's it. And making sure that the shift of weight was done in advance so we don't have to sway as we move. Then we lift up, pressing evenly into palms. Then we bend the knee, pressing evenly into palms. You see where I'm going. Then the hips open, allow the heel to fall across. On your next inhale, let's level and extend to the back. And as you exhale, drop the knee down. Move, shimmy, shake, reset. Same movements, the exact same movements, but we're going to speed them up just a little bit here. With an inhale, let's send our right leg back. We're going to lift it up and bend it. The exhale is going to find that twist where we're rotating the hips. The inhale levels us off, extends to the back, and the exhale brings us down. Let's try the left side. Inhale, left, bend, exhale, open. Inhale, length, and exhale, down. Let's do one more, just like that on each side. I know we've been on them a while. Let's follow that same movement pattern, but we're going to step our foot forward to the front right corner, so outside the hand. Inhale, right leg goes back. Bend and open. Find some length, and here's the change. As you exhale, step your foot forward, landing outside the pinky finger. We rise. So this should bring us directly up over top of our left knee because we've got a nice short stance here, but an opportunity to play with some width. If this is not comfortable for your back knee, okay, another opportunity to grab your little pillow, your block, or perhaps you make a little fold in your mat to add some extra cushion so that you can be here comfortable. Completely up to you. From this position though, we are going to draw our belly in, tilt our tailbone underneath, Think of scooping the tailbone to try to touch the front edge of your mat, okay? Reaching forth. Gliding in enough to enjoy that little stretch in the front of our left hip, but keeping the height in the spine. We can breathe here. We can reach up overhead, relaxing those shoulders down away from our ears. And of course, we can also have a twist, bringing the left wrist down onto that right leg. And the right hand can either just rest on the hip, wrap behind the back, some of us might want to reach behind just a few breaths. Let's lift and open, especially if we're in our twists. Open. On your next inhale, let's all turn forward, reaching up. As you exhale, we're going to hinge. We're going to bring our fingertips down. Let's stay. Let's stay here. Breath, pull yourself as far forward as you can. And as you exhale, we're gonna lengthen that front leg and just shift our hips backwards a little bit. Inhale, we glide forward, pull forward. And as you exhale, 
we shift back. Now, you might want to lock your hands for some support forwards and backwards. Okay, maybe playing with that deeper kind of movement over those toes, stretching our ankle, our calves. And of course, as we shift back, we're lengthening that front leg again, playing with the stretch to the other side. Hands. Let's do one more, forward and back. Bring ourselves forward. We're going to step our right foot, or rather the right knee, back. Move. Shimmy, shake, reset. Here we go. Left side. Inhale. Landing softly. Let's rise. So, slide in. Okay? Feel free to make the noises. Belly's in, heart's lifting, shoulders are down and away. Anytime we've got our feet on the ground, we're thinking, again, that ball of the foot, base of the baby, toe, and the heel, firmly rooting ourselves into the support of the mat, breathing into any shape of lunge that makes sense for you, including having that gentle rotation with the right wrist coming down on top of the left. Left hand stays, wraps, reaches, or anywhere in between. Let's enjoy one more breath here. And on your next inhale, turn forward, reach up. Exhale, we hinge, we melt, we fold. Inhale, pulling a little bit. Exhale, pushing a little bit. Inhale, pull, maybe glide forward further. And exhale, shift back further. The hands are there to help. Checking the range and how things are feeling on this side. shimmy, little shake, little reset. Then, downward facing dog. Okay, so, we're going to step our toes back, we're going to lift our hips high, and we create this upside down V shape. We'll take a few moments and explore it. Sway the hips, roll the shoulders around, give your head a big shake no, and then an even bigger nod yes. Okay. Downward facing dog, is not necessarily a resting position. We should be a little active here, pushing through our palms, sliding the shoulders away from the ears, imagine hugging the spine, and then lifting the tailbone with the heels searching, searching for the ground, and it is absolutely okay if they do not find it, but it is that directional kind of pressure. Let's soften both of our legs, looking forward, take a breath, and as you exhale, we're going to walk, step, or float both of our feet all the way to the front of the mat. All the way. And when you get there, hang. Just hang. Okay. So your feet can be about hip distance, they can be closer, they can be wider, whatever is comfortable for you. But grab opposite elbows, bend your knees a lot, and just drift. Okay. Weight transfer forward, backward, side to side. Again, another shake of the head, no, and a nod of the head, yes. <sighs> Bring hands up onto our shins. Let's lift halfway. Halfway. Find a little bit of length through the legs and some height in the spine. Take a big breath, and as you exhale, hinge back down. Bend your knees if you need to, or you can keep those legs a little longer. Let's try it again. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, hinge. One more. 
And this time, let's stand, stacking ourselves all the way upright. And here, take a big breath, reach your arms, palms will come together, and exhale, landing down on our heart. Take a little moment, a shrug, a roll, a reset into our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Ball of the foot, base of the baby toe, heel. Rest of the toes should be light wiggle. And knees are soft, but the legs are straight. Tailbone, little scoop underneath, belly draws in, heart's lifting, shoulders relaxing. Breathe. Tadasana. I'm just turning to face you. Don't worry. Eventually, I would like to use the width of the mat, and so if you're comfortable changing to that now, you can, but whatever you need. Hands, let's keep them at heart. We are going to clasp our fingers, and then start to pull our elbows apart. We're going to turn palms in. So let's remind ourselves of that kind of cow pose, that extension. With an inhale, we're going to lift our heart, pull the elbows apart here. And then as you exhale, we're going to press forward, rounding our upper back, dropping our chin. And okay. let's try that again. Inhale, we're going to open. And the exhale, just going to push. One more, but we're going to move on. So the inhale, open. And as you exhale, push. This time, reach your arms up overhead. Inhale. Let's follow those hands with our eyes. And as you exhale, release the fingers. Exhale, down to heart. There we go. Let's try that again. Inhale, open. Exhale, push. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. One more. shrug, a little roll, and a little reset. Okay, so here is where we're going to change to a nice wide stance. And so if you're on a mat, let's open out towards the edges. And if you're not, just open those legs. Okay, another amazing opportunity to make use of props, depending on your body mechanics. Okay, the concept of the ape index. For some of us, we're about as long this way as we are tall this way. Some of us have little T-Rex arms. You know who you are. And if you fall into this category, having a block handy might be helpful here. Okay. Let's allow ourselves to start hinging forward a bit. We're going to soften our knees, we're going to push our hips back, and we are going to bring our hands down to the ground, or bring the ground a little closer. And that's what we can use those props for. Feel free to make adjustments with your feet. We're going to start off where they are approximately parallel with the short edges of your mat, okay? But we are going to open those feet out a few degrees here in a moment. So just get comfortable, a little shift of weight, feeling, again, ball the foot, base of the baby toe and the heel, both of our feet. Then let's turn our toes out, just a bit. So 15, 20 degrees away from center-ish. Again, block is there for us. Let's start to bend our right knee. Okay, so we are going to lower our hips closer to that right heel. Now you can stay in center, or those hands might walk with you for some support. Rising back up to the very top, we're going to bend just the left knee. So that opposite leg stays long and strong. Now as we transfer here, I'd like us to think about keeping our heels in contact with the ground, heels. And okay, so at any point, if you start getting really low and you find yourself rolling up onto the ball of the foot, it means it's come a little bit too far for this range for you today, but it's something that we're working on. So we're sitting our hips back towards the heels so that the weight can stay there. Inhale up to the top and exhale out to the sides. Let's do one more in each direction. We're going to bring ourselves to the very top, the very center. Bend your knees a lot so you can sit your hips back, brace your core, and let's roll to a nice standing position. Okay, so here's where we're going to have a little bit of fun. Let's turn our toes outwards. And then turn our toes outwards. And then, I know, it's crazy, turn your toes 
eloquence. Approaching, listen to the language, approaching 180 degrees from each other. Okay? Approaching. Soften your knees. And we are going to try to slide ourselves down an imaginary wall. This is going to hopefully enjoy some fun sensations in our hips here as we encourage our knees to open. The knees naturally want to collapse inwards here. It's up to us to try to open and see if we can stay vertical sliding down. Hands can come to heart. Hands can reach out. Okay. And perhaps we go back to our breath. Inhale here, open. Exhale, push forward, round. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Right? Stability. One more. Inhale. Let's all rise. We're going to turn our toes back in parallel to the shorter edges of your mat. And you reset. I'd like to do one more time side to side. And there's an opportunity to enhance it a little bit for those of us that are feeling warm enough to be able to explore. Soften those knees, hinge forward, melt forward, find lots of support. The hands really, really are there to support you. And readjust if you need to find a little bit more width, turning our toes out to those natural angles. Let's allow our hips to lower towards the heel. And we can walk, inhale up to the top, exhale over to the sides. Now, some of us might feel comfortable enough to start lowering down further where we actually have to roll up onto the heel of that opposite leg because we are sitting our hips back so far. And it's like we've been working up towards this. Now, don't worry if we're not there yet, we can work towards it, right? Lots of support and for those of us that would like to try doing it without the support of the hands, we can also play with that. Weird, right? Strength, control, heat, <sighs> breath. Okay, so wherever you're at, whatever level, whatever option, let's do one more on each side. yourself right up to the very top here a little moment to shrug roll shimmy shake sit those hips back let's stack ourselves upright we're gonna bring our feet together and if you've drifted from the top edge of your mat let's find our way back just gonna move my block here and I'm finding my way back a little moment shrug roll reset and how about a big breath up overhead as you exhale, deep dive, melting completely over the body, hinging, folding, surrendering, little shake, little shimmy, taking a, back, a breath to prepare. We're stepping back to downward facing dog. Walk, step, and float. And from our downward facing dog, you can go straight into a child's pose if you like here. We won't be there too long, but for those of us who'd like to flow our way there, Inhale, let's glide forward to the top of a plank where the shoulders come over top of our wrists. We can lower our knees because it's a nice low intensity day. Big breath at the top. And as we exhale, we're lowering halfway. Control the descent. We are in control. And then everything comes down. Opening our feet up to the back corners of the mat. Let's do three little baby cobras, little lifts. So fire into that posterior chain, press into the feet, lift the heart, and we'll lower Again, lift and lower. One more. And this time we're finally going to use our hands to push us back. Hips go to heels. We are going to fold over or between our thighs and just relax. Just relax. And we are going to be moving down onto our backs here in just a moment. 
But if you need a quick sip of water, or if you'd like to grab anything, you go for it. Hmm. Prior to that, okay, let's first move to a seated position where we can bring our legs right in front of us, leaning back, giving ourselves another moment for some windshield wipers, and then just find a comfortable seat. A place where we can drop our chin and go through a few crescent-shaped head rolls. Just rolling the head up to one shoulder, dropping it back down, and then finding the other side. And of course, the exhales can lower us, and the inhales can lift us, or if you'd rather move slower than that, you are welcome to. Okay. And when you're ready, we're going to get ourselves organized. Now, this is where we're going to be heading back into a little bit of hip work. I'm going to play with the figure four on our backs and where we're going to use our block. Again, block is completely optional. Okay, So if you don't have one available, don't worry. It's totally fine. Or if you are using one and you find it's not comfortable, don't worry. Pull it out of there and it's the exact same cues for the rest of it. Okay, So let's have our block handy. We're going to find our way down. Actually, I'll just put it here. Find our way down onto our backs, maybe a couple more windshield wipers. And we're setting ourselves back up for that rolling or the flowing bridge where the heels come in nice and close to our glutes, ball the foot base, the baby toe and heel. We press to those points, we tilt the tail, we squeeze the glutes, and let's lift and lower a few times. Inhale to the top and exhale to the bottom. We've done this. We started with this. Inhale. One more, just like that. Okay, when you get to the bottom, let's just pause. Now, for those of us who are not using a block, just stay right here. For those of us that are, let's grab it. Okay, we're gonna all we're gonna lift one more time, squeezing, and then we're gonna slide our block in on its lowest, widest side. Okay, if you're using a block. If you're using pillows or anything along the lines of that, don't worry, just figure it out. But we're gonna take it across the mat underneath our hips, underneath our tailbone, so then we can lower. All lower down. The end state here is to have our hips elevated and supported off the mat. That's it. Okay, cool. So, again, if we're good, amazing. If we need to remove the block, you can do that too. Let's all bend our right knee and bring it into our chest. A little squeeze, and we're going to cross that right ankle over the left thigh. There's your figure four. That's it. Elevated hip position, allowing that right knee to fall open, kind of playing with enjoying the sensations through the front of that right hip. This might be enough, and we can all potentially float those knees up over top of the hips. Hands might reach through for the back of your left leg. Some of us might want to use a strap here to extend our reach so that we're not having to crank on our shoulders and neck. But some opportunities may also include floating that left leg upwards, getting a little bit more stretch through the back side. Again, opportunities, not necessarily the end state for all of us. Just breathe and hang out. Low into the belly, flooding the hips, opening the ribs, opening the collar, relaxing the shoulders, the head. appropriate, start to reverse your movements, where we drop that left leg. Eventually we're going to uncross 
All right, maybe give them a little squeeze. Let's place it down and switch sides. So if you need to make any adjustments, do it. But then left knee in, left ankle crosses over. There's that figure four right there. Might be enough. Maybe we add just a little sway and massage or maybe we're reaching through looking for the back of that right leg. Again, opportunities exist, okay? Straps, props, support, breath. Gently starting to release. Now, here's where we're going to customize a little bit depending on our practice. Okay, let's allow that foot to come down. For those of us on a block, stay. Okay? If you're not on a block, don't worry. Maybe just stay here. Give yourself a little moment with some windshield wipers. Or if it feels good, you can follow along. Let's all Extend our legs forward. We're going to walk our feet forward. And eventually, let your body just extend out completely. For those of us on the block, the hips are being elevated and we're in this kind of supported extension position. Hips are lifting and the rest of our body is just melting down over that support. Shoulders connect with the ground, the back of the head. And we breathe. We just breathe. Appreciating everything that we've been able to accomplish to get us to this point. Okay. Then, okay. yeah, for those of us not on a block, just stay. But for those of us on that block, we're going to walk our feet back in. Press into them just enough to lift the hips up off the block. We're going to remove it, pull it out to the side. We don't need it anymore. And carefully, very slowly, lower all of the way down, vertebrae by vertebrae, until the tail won't touch it. And we can all then draw our knees into our chest, giving ourselves another very, very well-deserved hug. One last set of twists. Right knee stays in, left leg goes forward, goes down. If you've got a different twist in mind that you want to incorporate, go for it. Our left hand is going to help us. The exact same thing we did at the beginning, a couple breaths. And with an exhale, we're going to take that right knee all the way across the body. We roll onto that left hip. And we're unwinding. We're wringing out. Many of those of us that have practiced together before, you know that I love using a set of twists at the end as that final chance to wring out and unwind and let go of the things that are not required. But it's also a great way to reflect on the distance you've traveled since the very first movements, the very first twists. And you're free and welcome to stay on this side for as long as it suits your practice. And when you are ready to change directions, you switch sides. Left knee in, right leg forward, right hand helps. A couple of breaths.
stay. If you not already, I recommend closing your eyes and just breathe. towards the final few moments of our practice. And there's no rush to get there. If this twist feels really good, stay as long as you need. If there is something else that you need to do for your practice today, another stretch, another movement, go for it. And then hopefully let yourself land in a position that you can relax. For most of us, it's probably going to end up very similar to where we began, just laying on your back, closing your eyes, letting your body Kind of just fall open all the way down into the support that this mat has been providing our entire practice. We breathe and appreciating everything that we've been able to accomplish. Well, maybe today we did explore, we enjoyed some stretches or some movements. Maybe our accomplishment was slowing down. Maybe just showing up. It's your practice. It's your body. Just breathe. Let's allow our breath to deepen. Same breath. But again, let's allow our breath to inspire, to invite life and the energy, and eventually movement to return to the body. Be small. Fingers, toes, a little shift of weight, shrug of the shoulders, turning of the head. As we kind of bring ourselves back, as we start moving, as we start awakening, we can again reflect on our inspirations, our dedications the practice, but then also just be thankful for our ability to practice, the fact that we've chosen to prioritize this type of movement in our lives so we can slow down, we can appreciate the little things, the steps, Hopefully, we can find a balance so then we can move forward, taking on our next adventure, our next challenge, whether it is a workout, whether it is work, school, friends, family, whatever you've got going on. Thank yourself for choosing to make this little bit of time a priority in your day. If you're comfortable where you are, 
You're welcome to stay there. Maybe rolling onto a favorite side, taking a few breaths. And of course, if you'd like, you can join me in a seated position. But I'd like to bring us together with three big breaths to close this practice. So wherever you'd like, okay? height, softness, your eyes can be open, closed, hands, wherever it is that you'd like to keep them. If it's available, let's start by taking an inhale through our nose and then exhale out the mouth. More. Release. Fill everything up. Thanks for sharing your practice. Hope you have an amazing day. Namaste. I'm Aaron. Always love thoughts and feedback if you got them. But if not, until next time, friends, have fun.